What's up y'all, I'm Ben Salkowit and I've spent thousands of hours over the past three years reviewing Google Ads campaigns for both small and large businesses. And I've seen these businesses waste hundreds, if not thousands of dollars because of sneaky settings that Google tries to hide in your campaign setup process when creating a new Google Ads campaign or for your existing campaigns. <laughs> At first we didn't know what to do with all the money. We tried burying it, <laughs> shredding it, <gasps> and burning it. <laughs> These sneaky settings drain your budget, they inflate your CPA, they mess up your KPIs, so you don't know if your Google Ads campaigns are actually performing and hitting business goals. But this video is meant to expose those settings so that we can have our campaigns get off on the right foot and not waste money unnecessarily in Google Ads. Whether you're a business large or small, this video is for you because these settings are wasting your budget. Let's get into it. Number one is location targeting and specifically the presence versus presence or interest settings in your Google Ads campaigns. So essentially what this means is if you wanna target a specific geographical location, let's say your business can only serve the state of Ohio and in your campaign you have presence or interest selected, that means Google can show your ads to people who happen to just be interested in the state of Ohio, not even necessarily present or living in the state of Ohio appreciate it okay this is what Ohio looks like completely normal all right it's a completely normal state so if you post any news please delete it out of respect for us because we are what? now I'm gonna jump into a screen share and show you exactly where to find this in your existing campaigns or when setting up a new campaign so if you click on campaigns click into the settings of an existing campaign we're gonna scroll down to targeting see locations and we're gonna click on location options please make sure that you have presence selected. And you can even see that Google has presence or interest as the recommended option. Please do not select this. Please do not listen to Google's recommendation in 99% of instances. We wanna save precious budget and we don't wanna serve our ads to people who have no business seeing them. I'm gonna quickly show you how to change the setting when you're setting up a new campaign as well. So starting a new campaign, obviously, the goals of the campaign are gonna be specific to your business and your goals. So we're gonna get past bidding here, over to the campaign settings, you'll see locations, similarly to the existing campaign settings that I just showed you, drop location options down and make sure presence is selected. Number two is auto apply recommendations. Now I have my qualms about the Google Ads recommendations tab in general, I pretty much never apply any of Google's recommendations. Um, optimization score is a pretty meaningless metric and we can get into that but I want to show you how to turn off auto apply recommendations so jumping into recommendations you're gonna see this little auto apply button we're gonna click that and we're gonna make sure that no auto apply recommendations are turned on obviously mine are turned off if they weren't turned off they'd be kind of embarrassing but just make sure that all of these are deselected I've seen Google add hundreds of broad match keywords on an auto apply recommendation I've seen Google inflate a target cost per acquisition or a target return on ad spend, all settings that are gonna have a drastic impact on the results of your campaign. And if you wanna get buy-in by leadership or other people in your company to expand your presence on Google Ads, we wanna make sure that this is a sneaky setting that you have turned off at all times. The third sneaky setting is having Google search ads show on the display network. There's a reason that they're called search ads, it's because we want them to show on the search network. They're text-based ads, they're not visual-based ads like the display network. So I'm gonna show you in a screen share exactly how to turn off this setting. So you're gonna click into a campaign. This has to be a search campaign. This setting is specific to search campaign. So if you're not running a search campaign, this isn't applicable to you, but I wanna show you anyways. Jumping into the settings here of one of our existing search campaigns, we're gonna look over here to networks and you'll see the Google Display Network here. So ads can appear on relevant sites, videos, and apps across Google and the internet when you have leftover search budget. So we don't want this extra budget going to the Display Network because it's always, always, always low quality. And you can see, once again, Google even recommends some of these additional networks, which I, as a Google advertiser who has spent thousands of hours running Google Ads campaigns, would never recommend to anybody. The fourth sneaky setting that I wanna talk about is primary versus secondary conversion actions. You always wanna make sure that Google's algorithm is optimizing towards the goal that is the most important for your campaign. If you are running a sales campaign, you do not wanna have primary conversion actions for add to carts, 
view the product page, initiate checkout. You only want to optimize for that purchase because that is the ultimate goal of the campaign and that's what's gonna drive the actual cost per acquisition that you're trying to attain. So we're gonna take a little bit of a different route here than the last ones. We're gonna go over to goals, conversion summary here. And this will show you all the existing conversion actions that you have added to your Google Ads account. Now, obviously for this campaign, it's an e-commerce brand. The number one goal is purchases. So we have that set as our primary conversion action. All the other things, your add to carts, your begin checkouts are set as secondary actions because we do not want Google to optimize for those. If they were set as primary conversion actions, Google would try to optimize for them. And that would be out of line with what the goals for this particular brand are. And talking about bidding, something else that I want to recommend, especially for new advertisers, if you are brand new to Google Ads, if this is your first campaign, do not run a conversion-based campaign, whether it be maximize conversions or maximize conversion value. We want to start with a manual campaign until you start to see conversion data in your account and then make the transition over to maximize conversions or maximize conversion value. The benchmark that I want to see is at least 30 conversions in the past 30 days before you make the switch over to a conversion-based bidding strategy. The fifth sneaky setting and the final one for this video is automatically created assets. Now this is very similar to auto apply recommendations and this one is really, really, really hard to find. So if you were a brand new advertiser or if you were a small business, Business that doesn't really pay too much attention to your Google Ads campaigns and all the intricate settings. This is one that's so impossible to find and Google makes it a maze to find this and that's for a good reason because they want your automatically created assets to get clicks, spend precious budget, and give more money to Google's bottom line. I'm going to show you exactly where to find this because this one is a doozy. So going into assets here, we're going to click on more, go to account level automated assets, and then we're going to click on more again and go to advanced settings. And here is where you're going to find your automatically created assets. Now, the only one that I do have turned on for this particular client is seller ratings. It's because social proof is important for this client as an e-commerce brand, but everything else is turned off. And I want to make sure you have everything turned off. Like there may be some stuff here that is applicable to you and you may want to test, but I've been testing these a lot and I never recommend using them. As Google continues to incorporate AI into the Google Ads interface, I imagine there's gonna be more sneaky settings for me to expose, but these are five crucial ones that I wanted to call out. If you're a small business, if you're a large business, this is ways to immediately improve campaign performance, stop wasting precious budget, and get after it towards your campaign and business goals. Thanks for watching. If you got value out of this, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Peace. Thank you.